Welcome to MSA Sports Center Stage Breakwater alongside Enfield Senior Jared Verclear. And Jared, fresh off of winning your first state championship, how's it feel to finally get that gold medal your senior year? Excitement, relief, um, it feels great. Well, obviously coming into the season you had some some changes going on with switching schools. Was that tough for you to switch schools from Belvoir to Hempfield? I mean, it's never easy leaving your friends and going to new school, but I think it was the best thing for me. Last year, because you didn't get a chance to compete, did you learn a lot from that experience? Yeah, I learned uh, never take wrestling for granted. It's always a privilege to uh, be able to wrestle out there and never take it for granted. Yeah, you had a great offseason, obviously, uh, in the uh, summer programs. Did you just want to come out and just continue to try to get better and, and make sure you can set yourself up for a position like this? Definitely. Keep training and uh, keep working and eventually finish on top. So you win a uh, WKO gold and you get to finally go to the seeding for uh, the state championships where you're seated in the top half with probably the best, the second best kid in the weight class. Did you feel that was right that where you were seated in the bracket? Well, with what happened last year, um, I got four seed, but I didn't really think it mattered. Um, I thought I was the best kid in the weight. They came in and you got that big win in the semifinals. After you got that win, did you feel a little relief and knowing, hey, you know what, I think I should be able to win this title? Yeah, definitely relief. I felt like I should have won by a little bit more, but he was tough, tough kid on top and uh, did what I needed to do. Obviously, in the state finals, you opened it up a bit and scored a lot of points. Is that your goal was just to come in and win? Uh, you didn't put up a lot of points to uh, make sure you did have to have a close match. Yeah, it was my last high school match. I wanted to end on top and make a bunch of points. Dapper Dan coming up for you as well. Uh, talk a little bit about that and what you're looking forward to there. Well, I haven't got asked yet, but if I get asked, um, I plan on having a rematch with the kid I lost to, Austin O'Connor, so that should be a fun one. What do you think you need to do to beat Austin this time around? Just keep training hard. You know, I feel like I'm ready right now. You uh, committed to Iowa State to continue your wrestling career, but some coaching changes going on. Are you still going to keep with that commitment? Um, as of now, I'm committed to Iowa State. If uh, things change, I'll, I'll pretty sure you will hear about it. Why did you decide to commit to Iowa State to begin with? Um, I just loved it there, the atmosphere, um, the teammates, everything felt right there. You want your fresh off a of state title. What are you going to do tonight? Um, just going to enjoy myself, probably get a milkshake and uh, just relax and reflect on it. What's the kind of milkshake you want to go with? I'll probably go with some vanilla, but maybe something else. you got to live a little, right? Yeah. Jared McLaren of Hempfield on MSA Sports Center Stage.